but I don't know I. I'm Lord Welshie, and welcome to Theory Pop, the show that presents you short theories in bite-sized pieces. Today's subject is Steven Universe, and we're asking the question, was Rose Quartz specifically made to conquer the Earth? First, we know that gems are made with a specific purpose in mind. Peridots are technicians, pearls are accessories, and quartz-type gems, like Amethyst and Jasper, are warriors. So we know Rose Quartz was a powerful warrior, but she was also a brilliant tactician and strategist. Jasper praises Rose's tactics during the Rebellion, and quite rightly. The Rebellion had numerically inferior forces compared to Homeworld, and still succeeded in driving them from the Earth. This could mean Rose was not just another class of warrior, but was actually designed as a leader, a general for an army. But consider one of Rose's strongest abilities, phytokinesis, or control over plants. It is implied that there is no flora on Homeworld. Peridot doesn't know what rain is, and water is essential for plants to grow, and Yellow Diamond is disdainful of any organic life. And if the moon-based projection of Earth as a colony is anything to go on, Homeworld would be inhospitable to any organic life, so why would Rose have this control over plants? We haven't seen any instances of gems gaining or learning new powers since their origination, with the exception of Fusions and Steven, so at this point we can assume Rose was created with these abilities in mind. Imagine arriving on a world and immediately having an army of local life to assist in putting down any resistance. This would cut down on the resources and manpower, uh, excuse me, gem power, required to take over the planet. And we know her control over Flora was very strong. Steven and the Crystal Gems are still seeing her influence on plants, even now, years after she's gone. We're just lucky Rose saw the value in human life and decided to fight for us, along with her plant armies. Attack my cauliflowers! Defend your mistress! Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look at one of my earlier theories from my older channel. Did you enjoy it? If so, let me know in the comments down below. If you'd like me to update this theory and do a new video on it based on new information we have, then also let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of Theory Pop.